this session we are going to discuss about the a theory of light uh, which is given by a newton that is newton's corpuscular theory see so many scientists studied about the light and gave uh, many theories and they discovered many things about the light and newton also studied about the light and he gave a theory called newton's corpuscular theory so in his theory he uh, did some assumptions the assumptions are like this coming to the first one light is the combination of massless tiny particles they are called as corpuscles these corpuscles are uh, uh, seem to be like this very small particles it seem uh, to be uh, like uh, small balls they are very tiny and small very small particles and they he named the particles light particles as corpuscles and these corpuscles are perfectly rigid they are having a, a specified shape rigid in the sense they are having a specified shape they are not as a, a liquid or a gas so they are solid uh, he assumed like that so they are perfectly rigid and they are elastic so the corpuscles are elastic in nature he assumed like that uh, elastic in the sense so if you take a, a rubber ball so if you hit to the wall again it will come back in the same way he assumed these corpuscles as a al having elastic nature so newton assumed that these light particles corpuscles are also having a elastic nature so if the light is instant on any surface it will come back if it instant normally normally it will come back if it is light is making an angle so with that angle the light will reflect back and weightless whatever uh, he is considering the light as a corpuscles the corpuscles are weightless they, he assumed that they are not having any weight and uh, next coming to the uh, next assumption different colors are due to the different sizes of corpuscles see if for example a big uh, light particle is having one color a small light particle which is called corpuscle will have another color so due to the variation in the sizes the color also varies he assume like that and next coming to the another assumption they travel with high speed different in different medium so we know that that is a property of light in denser media the speed has one velocity and in rarer medium the speed is having another velocity so he also assumed like that um, the, the speed of light is more and it varies from medium to medium and here he used to think he gave one more assumption that is uh, the light is having a high kinetic energy so due to that high kinetic energy uh, gravity is unable to pull the light towards it as they are traveling very fast with high speed gravity is unable to pull them down so he assume like that light is traveling with very high speed and next one is yes speed of light is more in denser medium than in rarer medium newton assumed that the speed of light is maximum in denser medium and the speed of light is less in rarer medium see we know the property of sound we know that sound travels fast in denser than in rarer so maybe with that assumption uh, he may thought like this speed of light is more in denser medium than in rarer medium and next these are the assumptions of uh, newton corpuscular theory and in that the merit is he successfully explained the rectilinear propagation of light reflection of light refraction of light so he successfully explained these three properties of light rectilinear propagation so as he assumed that light as a corpuscles the corpuscles will travel in a straight line from one place to another place so 
rectilinear propagation he had explained and reflection of light as the corpuscles are having elastic in nature so if you take a rubber ball if you hit it to wall it will, as it is coming back so the reflection also uh, would be like the same and refraction also he made to explain by taking the light as a assume the light as a corpuscles and coming to the demerits he in this theory newton's corpuscular theory failed to uh, explain these things what is it is failed to explain interference diffraction and polarization so these are also properties of light he failed to explain these three interference diffraction and polarization of light already we have discussed about this interference diffraction and polarization in previous classes and next uh, coming to the another demerit the speed of light greater in denser medium was later proved wrong so whatever he said that the light travels faster in denser later it proved that it is wrong so the speed of light is faster in rarer than the denser medium so this is he is unable to uh, explain these three properties and this is also proved that it is wrong the speed of light is greater in denser was later proved wrong and next partial reflection and refraction so he is unable to explain this also that means whenever a light is instanting on a uh, any other surface like refracting surface some light may reflect or maximum light may refract and uh, some light may reflect so uh, if uh, this is happening more if the more light is refracting some light will reflect if more light is reflecting some light will ref refract so he didn't explain or uh, there are no proofs for this uh, partial reflection and refraction so it also failed and next uh, uh coming to an, another demerit decrease in weight of light source so he what he said is uh, whatever the source of light is there when it emits the light the weight of the source will get to decrease so it is also failed uh, so that means light source see for example if a tube light is giving a light to us uh, after using for some time uh, it is uh, stated that the mass or uh, weight is coming to be decreased so this is also a demerit of newton's corpuscular theory so these are the uh, demerits of uh, corpuscular theory and Newton's corpuscular theory greatly explained uh, this rectilinear propagation of light, reflection of light, and refraction of light. And these are the assumptions made by the Newton in his theory, corpuscular theory.